Okay, welcome back to another Photoshop gym. And um, here I have a new artwork I did on Tanya Carter. It's called uh, My Emotions. And here we have the tattoo on her skin and light hitting her face. And we have the wall and everything. Now that came from a, one of her pictures on Google. I am using a Photoshop uh, 20, 2018, CC 2018. I want to encourage you guys to get a hold of it. This, this, uh, we have some amazing feature with the new pen tool as well. But I'm going to show you how we got this artwork um, close to this. this. This took me a while, but um, let's dive right into it. But here's Tanya, and here's the background, right? So the first thing I did was to cut out Tanya. So you can do it a number of ways. You can get the pen tool and you can, you know, try to go around, go around, you know, which is all great and stuff. But notice that she has uh, some fine hair here. And that is kind of impossible to do with a pen tool. So what I'm going to use is um, we can try the quick selection tool that will kind of isolate most of it but it's, it's still going to take some time but what I like about Photoshop they have really done a good work on the select and mass feature so here is Tanya and if I go up here pick the quick selection tool I can make it uh, transparent a little bit and I start to paint over her a Photoshop automatically is going to detect the edges of Tanya, right? So, and how can I test that? I can raise the opacity to see how transparent it is. So we're pretty much almost uh, finished with that cutout. So what I can do is put it on black and we can see what we're missing. Now we have some light bleeds, uh, which is okay. I'm going to click on my refine edge tool. And I'm going to paint on the edges. And you can see the refine edge tool is taking out the whites from Tanya here. And preserving the hair. Now that is good. We can also click on the smart radius. I can, let's say, bring down a little bit off the here let's boost the contrast a little bit uh, i won't do the federal the federal i can blur it we can try to decontaminate mass but um, this is close enough uh, for what i want yeah i still see some bleeds here but we're gonna do that i'm um, go new layer with layer mask and um I'm going to hit, I can also show the edges as well, that's a, that's a good feature. Hit OK, and here I have Tina. so let's bring in the background here. And, um, okay, I can still see some bleeds here. So what I'll do, I'll bring up my select and mask once again. Go on the refined edge. And I'm gonna bring it on uh, on layers. I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna brush around here. Shift the edge a little bit. Let's let's work it out. We're gonna leave it as it is. Now, how do I get rid of those halos? I can um, slightly and scale up tiny a little bit. Okay. Okay, there we have her. And there we have Tanya. Um, okay, let's. Okay, let's bring her back wrong there a little bit. Okay, there we have Tanya. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fill another layer uh, with the same color here. 
and I'm gonna put that behind and I'm gonna blur that out a little bit and even darken it better yet let's fill it with black it's just to cover up um the back right okay that, that's looking better I'm gonna I'm gonna drag the room a little bit to the left now we have this here bleed to deal with right so here's what here's what we're gonna do we can go and layer go down to matting remove white mat uh, that's not doing anything go on uh, color decontaminate and that also will suck up uh, some of the color that let's just drag it a little bit to the right maybe about there we don't want to lose the texture enough tunnels here about there we'll do and also what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mask out uh, some of her here because i can see the hard edge by there so in 2018 i have to go into brush brush settings to actually find uh, what i need um the, 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 the brushes no so i'm gonna smile the brush there I'm gonna hit the X key. I'm gonna mask, mask some of Tanya's here there. So it look, looks a little bit more natural. And then I'm gonna switch to my brush tool, create a new layer. I'm gonna call it here. And I'm gonna fill it with the same uh, color of her here, which is black. Have no fear. Well, I'll then drag the mask um, on the little mask tool there. And I'm gonna paint back in the color on Tanya's here so it um, fills in the ends, right? So I'm gonna paint over there. Alright, both the edges by there, that will do. Okay, good. Okay, we have a good cutout of Tanya here, right? So what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna use levels and I'm gonna slightly brighten up background a little bit. I'm gonna go into filter camera raw. I'm gonna bring down the highlights. Before I do that, let's make a copy of Tanya. I'm gonna show you why shortly. So here we go filter camera. Bring the highlights down. Now the focus is on Tanya's face, right? So I'm gonna bring down the highlights until it starts starting to look a little bit cartoony. I'm gonna boost the shadows as well. So maybe about maybe about there. And I'm gonna increase the clarity. Also, I'm gonna boost the contrast a little bit. Exposure, I'm gonna boost it up a little bit. So, about there, we'll do, and here we have that's before, and this is after, before, after. Now, here's the thing I don't want this here to, to be loose and uh, looking old like she's an old lady, so that's the reason why we duplicated um, the here, there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill the mask with black to cover up the top copy of Tanya and then I'm going to paint back in just the here. So let's do that. And I'm going to select my brush tool. 
and uh, I'm gonna clip it to Tanya. Here I'm gonna paint the hair in, right? I'm gonna paint there, I'm gonna come over here. So before and after, right? I'm gonna keep a little bit of highlights in her hair as well. And also I'm gonna I'm gonna click on Tanya here. I'm gonna go to filter noise, reduce noise. I'm gonna slightly uh, take out some of the sharpness. That's to give her a nice boost. Okay, that's looking good right there. Now I'll duplicate the background, drag it to the top, filter blur. And I'm gonna switch the color more. Let's bring down the opacity. Maybe about maybe about 15%. Just so she starts to blend in. And I'm gonna get the burn tool. I'm gonna start some burning over. Kinda giving her even more depth. While it's dark, will be darker. And I'm gonna use an adjustment there. I'm gonna use levels. I'm gonna slightly darken her a little bit here. Boost the highlights. For the background, I'm gonna darken it a little bit with levels. Also, I can use color balance to get that teal effect. So let's go to shadows. I'm gonna go to um, the blue colors. Let's go to about maybe about there. Let's take off the preserve woman. Um, make it a little bit bluer. Bring it up a little more teal. Same thing for the highlights. Bit blue, bring up the teal a little bit, and the mid tones. I'm gonna push a little bit more of the red, warming up Tanya's skin a little bit. And also, I'm gonna switch that to color so it blends better. So, before and after, right? So and then we can create the lights, create a new layer, go to brush. Let's pick the blue. Enlarge the brush, switch it to screen. Maybe something about there, a little closer to her face. If we do that again, um, here we can start to create uh, some interesting effects. Now, uh, create a new layer. Let's call it rim. I'm going to switch it to color dodge. I'm going to use the same color and we're going to paint. I'm going to paint over Tanya's skin so we can create some lighting around her. Maybe by there, you know, by the side here on her face. Get it down a little bit. We can try um, color dodge. Um, let's try linear light. It seems linear light looks a little bit better. Linear, I'm sorry, um, linear dodge. <laughs> let's stick with that. Let's, let's go back and see color dodge, linear dodge. I'm gonna drop the fill a little bit. And to add some creative effects here, let's go on a filter blur, Gaussian blur. So we create some depth. Right about there. And um, that's looking nice. Uh, we can go on Tanya and um, 
go on a sharpen tool sharpen her eyes a little bit and sharpen her lips give it a little more hdr effect we can go on the text tool and type in um, let's change the color to white type in Tanya Carter bring that up above enlarging it and then what we can do is blur it give it a little 3d effect convert to smart object and then we can use the mask to bring out some of it to focus There we have it. We have the Carter in focus. We have the TA in blur. And also, uh, we can even further um, make some adjustments on Tanya herself. Let's go into our effects. Here's another secret uh, gradient over, over layer. We can darken one side of her. see here am I am I using the right one no I'm not okay here it is effects blending options and then we have the um, gradient overlay so one part of Tanya will be a little bit dark than the other one and we can do all subtle stuff like change the color of her lips call us lips and switch this to hue and I can take the brush and I can zoom in a little bit there and I can paint over Tanya's lips okay. um, what I want to do to let, let's, let's, let's use the dodge tool I'm gonna just lip shine a little bit more and then of course on our lip layer I can switch it to whichever other color by going on image adjustment a hue saturation and let's see maybe that color there we can change it to red maybe, maybe that color maybe right there would work uh, on the Tanya Carter title we can also bring up the effects something like outer glow uh, increase the size bring on the spread and now uh, we can create some smoke effects take down the flow a little bit more maybe to about 20 I'm gonna use a brighter purple color and enlarging the brush I'm just gonna paint around and then we have something like like this switch it to maybe something like screen mode or let's try linear light vivid light linear dodge um, color dodge let's work with screen Add a little bit of fog right And here we have um, the effect. And we can finish it off with a little bit of curves, by darken the image a little bit more, boosting the contrast. And there you have it. It's something similar to this. That one, this one took more time, and but you get the general idea uh, how we can get stuff to pop out. So. Catch you on the next one, guys.